got a mess going on. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got crock pots everywhere. Keeping it real. Oh my, no. I was giving us an appeal. Uh, no. No. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me. And we'll be cooking up dishes from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog, where we have over 400 recipes and rising. And another great recipe comes from another great book that we've been talking about here lately, and that is... Da -da -da -da! Busy Day Slow Cooking from Gooseberry Patch. And it might be too late for you guys to enter by now on RecipesThatCrock.com to get yourself a free cookbook. <laughs> Don't mind the draining sound. That's just my dishwasher draining. Don't mind the chainsaw sound. That's just my neighbor chainsawing. Don't mind the clickety-clack. That's just my dog dogging. <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> <laughs> if you missed out on your chance and it's past May 25th to get this cookbook, it's okay. There's still a chance because if you subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash MikeyGood, there's an entry for you right there to get one of these busy day slow cooking cookbooks it's, from Gooseberry Patch. If you Patch. subscribe, you're automatically yep. entered. If you subscribe to this channel, you're already a member. Already entered. Already entered. There. You're already a member. You've joined us. You've been a part of the family now. But if you subscribe, you're already automatically entered to get this cookbook. What? You, you haven't subscribed yet? One you just, person. One, one person. Not one everybody. person. Not everybody. There's like almost 500 subscribers. And thank you all very much. One. One of you will get this cookbook. By random. Yes. Don't it's beg us for it. No, no, we don't beg. No it's a, uh, we have no control over this. It'll be all random. Like chaos. Wait, what did you, did you tell me you just randomly stumbled by here and you're not a subscriber yet, but you really want one of these cookbooks and you want to be entered in? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> you done yet? Okay, good. Well, we're going to go on now, and we're going to do a slow cooker lasagna from this cookbook. And what you will need is one pound of Italian pork sausage. We're using, I believe, a mild breakfast sausage for yep. this. And the recipe also calls for one half of an onion that's been chopped up and cooked. That's already in our sausage right here. You also need three 15-ounce cans of Italian-style <laughs> tomato sauce. My wife told me to go to the store and get the ingredients for everything we're doing today, and I could not find any 15-ounce cans of Italian tomato sauce. But I did find the little bitty cans, which are 8 ounces, so they're... A, We're going to be a little saucy. A today. little saucy today. <laughs> we like things a little saucy. But Hunt's makes a really good basil, garlic, and oregano sauce. An Italian sauce, if you will, for today. And we really like Hunt's uh, sauces, so we're trying those, and that's why there's six little bitty cans. Uh, we also need uh, two teaspoons of dried basil, or basil, if you're British. You need a half teaspoon of salt. We'll get that straight out of our salt pig. You also need eight ounce package, an eight ounce package of shredded mozzarella cheese that's been divided up. You can add more if you like it a little cheesy. I know I do. Uh, also, 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese because you know if you're going to make an Italian dish like lasagna, you got to have something that sounds Italian like ricotta cheese. If you don't have ricotta cheese, you could use cottage cheese if you want to, but we've got ricotta, so we're going to use it. And then also one I, cup. I somehow feel like I need to make some kind of disclaimer here. Uh -huh. That we are not in any form or fashion any kind of Italian expert. We're not Italian at all. I don't think there's a this drop of Italian This is an Americanized dish. We're not pretending to be authentic. It's just fun to say though. Say yes. it. Say it with me. Say yeah. ricotta. With you. Will you say it with me? <laughs> say it with me. Say it. Say ricotta. Now say parmesan. Now say Mozzarella. <laughs> Isn't it more fun than saying ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan? <laughs> now it sounds like I'm from the East Coast. You don't even say it that way. I know, but uh, I know what I'll be saying later when I put it on my belly. Mm. <laughs> okay. 
Also, we need one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one cup, and then 15 uncooked lasagna noodles. I know, just like that. You'll need 15 of them. I've got, I don't know how many in the box we're going to count. Hopefully, I've got enough to make this And dish. that's why another reason, and they aren't like the kind that say no boil. They're just plain old lasagna. Plain, noodles. straight up noodles. And they're going to go in without having to cook them ahead of time, which is perfect by design. That guy is really going to town on that tree. Wow. <laughs> perfect by design so that uh, you don't burn yourself on hot lasagna noodles. I would. Yes. So instead of boiling ahead and all that and then burning my fingers when I'm laying them down in the pot, this slow cooking way of doing things, you don't have to touch anything hot. Chances are I'm still going to burn myself because I do it anyway, but this will lessen my chances for serious injury. So the first thing we need to do is cook the sausage and the onion in a skillet. Already been done. Ding! And put it, uh, see, oh, no, no, I'm no longer pink and drain. Stir in tomato sauce. <laughs> All six little bitty, little bitty cans. A one and a two. Um, your dog wants to come out now. A three and a four. The dog's going to have to wait. <laughs> a five and a six. And it says to stir in tomato sauce, basil, and salt. So here's your basil. Oh! <laughs> Starting to throw that bowl away. That would have been bad. And it says a half teaspoon of salt, so what I call a good pinch. Now we're going to have to pause for a moment so my dog can go pee. <laughs> oh, not that! Hey! Go wash your hands. You're supposed to stir it up, and then you combine your cheeses. Okay, so I'm going to stir this up. Get the sausage all mixed up in the sauce, and the basil all mixed up in the sauce, and the salt all mixed up in the sauce. So that's your meat sauce for that's your layers. That's my meat sauce for my layers, that's right. I don't know why I have pepper on there, because it doesn't say to put pepper in there. So of course you know me. If you got it, use it. And we'll stir that up some more. Get the pepper all mixed up in there. And there is the meat sauce. Now we shall set this aside for a moment. I'll use that spoon for the other stuff. And then, no, I better use a separate spatula for that. Mm -hmm. Something along the lines of this right here. And then we want to stir in our cheeses together. In a bowl combined, one cup of mozzarella cheese. Oh my. And one cup of Parmesan cheese. And then our ricotta cheese. Yeah, that's right. Just put that in there just like that. Hey, cleaned up. All right. And we'll mix that up real good. As good as I can. That's gonna be thick. Yep. Yes, this is my first time making this dish, so it'll be kind of like a paste. A cheesy, good, melty paste. <laughs> you should have used a spoon for this and not a spatula. So this is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> oh, there's more cheese plugging out of the bowl. I think so. <laughs> I used a dirty. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere with it. <laughs> sure, that's I'm not, not sure where we're getting, audio. but it's, <laughs> it's all stirring up good now, folks. There we go. The cheese mixture looks just perfect. Everything mixed all together. Now we'll clean counter, I swear. I should have used this side to begin with. So I love that spoon, or that, that spatula, because you can use either side. He's not using the handle. There's actual, there's a spoon on, or the It's like a baby spatula. Yes. And that works out much better. I should have done that from the beginning. Yes. Okay. 
Now your cheeses are all mixed up, your sauce is all mixed up, and now to construct your lasagna. The first thing you do is read the recipe. It says, chill remaining mozzarella cheese while lasagna cooks. Spoon one-fourth of the sausage mixture into a six-quart slow cooker. We have our ninja, which is a, is it six-quart? Uh-huh. You might want to actually just use your measuring cup to just dump some over in there. It might make less of a mess. Is that what you're hoping for, less of a mess? Yes. But you might keep that to spread it out one second. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Just like that. And I'll use this measuring cup. Yep. You think? Maybe half. Nah. Half. You gotta have sauce for the rest of it. I know, but it's gotta be. That's enough. Okay, well, that was two. No. It doesn't have to be tons, it's just to keep it from sticking. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> Alright. And then noodles? Yes. Sauce? Yes, noodles. So I wanna take five noodles. One, two, three, four, five noodles. And place along the bottom. And as you see, it's not going to fit. Yeah, well, you know what? That sauce is really helping them stick better, though. Mm -hmm. I was trying to measure this out early, and I couldn't get the noodles to stay in there right. Oh, they kept sliding that? around. She said, the sauce, when you put it down first, it's going to help the noodles stick so they don't go everywhere. <laughs> and she was right. <laughs> She's so smart. And then... There's the fourth one, just like that. And then the fifth one, I'm not quite sure how to do this because we'll break it in half, like that. And just kind of put that one there and put that one there. Now, some of the sauce is still showing. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Your, your noodles are going to grow a little bit. Okay. Um, and then it says spread with half of cheese mixture. So, yeah, I would dollop it in there and then try and kind of smoosh it around or a mess with your noodles. Oh my. That's half. Yeah, it's all at one time. <laughs> and oh, Lordy. So you meant like a little dollop here and a little dollop <laughs> yes. there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that probably would have worked out better. <laughs> You know, my noodles are sliding everywhere. <laughs> so, just like that. This is an experiment for me as well, people. I usually don't make dishes like this that are this complicated. <laughs> it's not complicated. So, but it's the first time. So this you're is learning. my first time. That's right. I am learning how to do lasagna in a pot. My wife has made this for years. This is my first time to actually make it. So kind of excited, a little scared, and probably not doing it right at all. Eh, it's fine. So that, and then another yeah. thing of the sauce mm -hmm. with it. So don't use up all your sauce though, because you gotta have it for the top. Like that. And then we'll spoon it over everything all put together like that and then noodle time so we'll take five more noodles one two three four five noodles and right on the top two is as far as I can yeah two and I'm kind of overlapping these noodles a little bit as you can see so they'll fit for so the roundness of the ninja. There we go, just like that. I got miscounted my noodles. There is five noodles right there. Yep. Now they should stick. Okay, so broken into pieces fit. Spread with half the cheese mixture, one quarter of the sausage mixture, top with five noodles, remaining cheese mixture, and one fourth of the sausage. So rest of the cheese. Mixture. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. We'll put a little there. 
put a little there. We'll put a little there. And then we'll just kind of scrape out the rest and put it in there. Make sure there wasn't much else to scrape. It all came out pretty clean there. Okay. All right. And then we'll spoon or the little spatula side and just kind of spread it on top the noodles. Go big side if you got to. Use your fingers if you got to. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to judge you. If you want to use your hands to be involved in your food, go ahead and do it. I'm just saying that because I'm, you know, trying to get you convinced it's okay because I'm about to. <laughs> oh, yes, I washed my comment. hands. <laughs> yeah, someone's probably, you shouldn't use your hands when you're messing with your food. You should turn the channel. Okay. <laughs> no. no, no, no. We like we like having all kinds of people here. We got the critic people. We've got the happy people who are just happy to see somebody cook on there and enjoying the jokes and having a good time. Because that's what this is really about is just having a good time in the kitchen. Kind of spending some time together with my wife and letting y'all see what that part of life looks like with us. And, and also, so that you can judge me <laughs> for using my fingers. Mm, now, oh, that's good. Now you have to go wash yeah, I'm not gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> mm. I like ricotta cheese. That's really good. Okay, and then so we've got our cheese all done. Now half of the sauce. Half left. of the sauce that is left goes on top. Just like that. Okay. That's about half, right? Up there. Yeah. Just like that. Now I will take my spoon. I will not use my finger for this. And I'll spread it on top where it's evened out, just like that. Mmm, it smells good. It looks good. That sauce is really good. Yeah, it is. That hot sauce is fantastic. And then, now, we want... Five more noodles. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. That's that's six. There's five. That's the last of the noodles. And so a one. A two. A three. A four. Like that. And again, break that in half. Put one there, put one there, and then the rest of our sauce on top. Of our noodles. Better use my spatula and clean out that bowl because I think I used a little bit too much sauce the last layer. No. No way. You gotta get those noodles covered. So that you have them. to cover the noodles. Because my wife says so. Well, that helps them cook up. Yeah, let's get that piece of meat down in there. We're looking for sauce. Right there, spread it out. <clears throat> and then, once your noodles are all covered up, wet with sauce. And get that one in there. There we go. Now, we have a mess to clean up. <laughs> and top of the remaining noodles and remaining sauces mixture cover and cook on low setting for four to six hours. So and I'm going to cover it. Definitely done by four hours. Yep. That's what it looks like pre-cooked. Now I'll move this out of the way. And after the four hours. I'll show them. Okay. Right over here. Let me grab the one that is done. After the four hours in that slow cooker or, you know, whatever kind of cooker you're using, once the lasagna is done, you want to top it with another cup of that last cup of your mozzarella cheese. Now, I have to be quite honest. When this was finished, she told me to cover it with a cup of cheese. You want to know what my cup looked like? It was two gargantuous handfuls of cheese sprinkled on there, and while she wasn't watching, that's because I'm a little cheesy, and I like my food a lot of cheesy. And so that's what it looks like. Now, another thing I was thinking of, now we can't do this in this particular slow cooker, but in our Ninja we can, 
some people like to see their cheese browned up. So if you want to put it in an oven um, and brown up the cheese, maybe just put it under the broiler. For just a few minutes. Just, yeah, I mean, and it's one of those where, again, I've said this before, if you're going to use your broiler, don't walk away from it. You, you put it underneath your broiler and you let it go for a minute or so and you keep watching it because brown and burnt under a broiler is a matter of seconds. But I'm not going to worry about broiling this up. I am going to grab my <laughs> fork and my spatula and my wife's pretty little plate. Look at that pretty little plate she got just for this. And I will make me, and I'm a big fan of the corner pieces, whether we're talking about lasagna or pizza, I like the corners. And we'll get ourselves out a little piece of lasagna there. Now, if you really like your lasagna to be like perfectly stacked up, and um, keep its form and not the best way to do that is to cook it the day before and cut it when it's cold and reheat the pieces and they will all stay um, really really set up you like it you could even add more uh, cheese on top if you wanted for the individual pieces. Parmesan. I put Parmesan on top. I mean, it's got, to me, it's got plenty of mozzarella on it now, especially with that last big, huge handful that I put in, mm -hmm. or two handfuls that I put on top. I put some Parmesan on top of a little bowl of my cheese. <laughs> All right, yeah, it is. That's perfect. You can't understand a word I'm saying. <laughs> but it looked just smart on my face. See, I'm just, it's because that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, you got a mess to clean up here. Yes. I'll let you take care of that while I finish this up and put it in the pot. <laughs> but that's how you make lasagna in a crock pot. Really simple to do. A few steps to do in order to make it right, but worth it at the end. Right. It's really good. The cheese is really good. Um, it's salty. It's not like super salty. It's salty like lasagna is salty um, with the sausage and everything and all the cheeses. Um, very, 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 very good. Tomato wheat. Oh, if you love tomatoes, you're going to love this. And that sauce, I think. It has the salt in it, too. Yeah. But it's very, 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 very good. Very good. This is something we have a lot at our house. Um, it would be really great with some garlic bread. And, uh... I might just be making cheese bread later tonight. Let's hope. Because <laughs> I want to have some more of this with garlic bread. But again, we want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me. If you would, again, I'm telling you right now, people, subscribe. You'll get to see many, many more videos. And if you subscribe before June 1st, again, I'm telling you, one subscription gives you an entry to win one cookbook. One person, one subscriber will get this. We will notify you on June 1st who is going to be getting Busy Lee Slow Cooking from Gooseberry Patch. And also, if you would, give us a like over on Facebook at Recipes That Crock, as well as at Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy. That's my page where we show these recipes along with uh, music and other silly things that the family does together. And uh, again, subscribe here at youtube.com slash MikeyGood, not just to win the cookbook, but to also see some of the other things that we put on this site. As always, go to RecipesThatCrock.com uh, to check out more videos and more recipes that my wife and Aunt Lou uh, put on the site every single day. We'll uh, we'll keep watching. <laughs> we'll keep watching. Mm, no, no, we'll keep cooking. We'll keep cooking. You keep watching, and all will be well. Thanks. Bye.